All right, budget magic time. Playing some white black fabricate in standard. And this hand is reasonable. We got some spells, a removal spell, some creatures. No fabricate cards to combo with our... Well, I mean, essentially, Syndicate, Trafficker, and Zulu put Cutthroat are both combo pieces. But we don't have any fabricate cards to combo them with. So hopefully we find some. We'll just Evolving Wilds. Get some lands out of our deck. Pass the turn. Island for our opponent. We'll crack Evolving Wilds. We will grab a Swamp. There's a Fabricate card. So play a Plains, play Cutthroat, ship the turn. So probably go Enthusiast next turn, and then we can Trafficker, Tap Land, leave up an activation of Trafficker. I don't know what we're up against yet. Could be a Control deck, could be like a Blue-Red Spells deck. All right, looking like Blue-Red Spells, Blue-Red Colossus... All right, almost certainly a Colossus deck. Prophetic Prism means Colossus. I don't know how this works, actually. Ooh, Ilea. Well, let's get in with Zulaport Cutthroat. Put our opponent down to 19. Then we'll play the Swamp. Weaponcraft Enthusiast. Go wide with Servos. Servo up some damage. <laughs> That's the turn. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we're battlements. So they're gonna get uh hasty with their colossi. Oh man, this hand is so good. Well, let's do some attacking. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Spatial contortion on our cutthroat. Okay. Drain for one, sure. Uh, let's Syndicate Trafficker, because it's kind of aggressive. And then next turn, we can Cutthroat in Eilie. I feel like our deck might be good against the Colossus deck, just because we have so many chump blockers. There's a Puzzle Knot. Draws our opponent a card. Also lose them a uh, loses them a life, which is pretty relevant. Down to 15. And there's Glint Nest Crane. I'm gonna slow down our beats a bit. What does our opponent find? Foundry Inspector. Well, they're getting close to Colossus time. There's Evolving Wilds. So play Evolving Wilds. Uh, do we even attack? I want to get in damage. Tap lands are again coming back to haunt us. Problem is if we attack, we're going to have to... Well, let's, let's play Cutthroat. Then let's attack with Syndicate Trafficker. Opponent blocks. So that means we need to sack a Servo, drain for one, and kill the Glint Nest Crane. And just pass the turn. So no Eilie down. Maybe we should have focused more on that. Eilie can get to Vindicate status pretty quick on this board state. Uh, so this would be a game two. This would be game... F well, I guess we'd have to sack a lot. We don't have much toughness on the battlefield, so... Probably uh, better this way. There's the Foundry Inspector for our opponent. And Cultivator's Caravan. Well, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, so next turn, they're going to be able to empty pretty much any number of Colossuses out of their hand. Crag of Alving Wilds. Maybe we just kill Foundry Inspector while well, he can turn on Cultivator's Caravan. Hmm. Let's grab a Plains. Draw a Tap Land. Well, let's get in with Syndicate Trafficker. If our opponent wants to block, that's fine. I'm assuming they don't. Opponent takes it, drops to 10. So we'll just play Eilie. Forsaken Sanctuary, pass the turn. So how many Colossus is Colossus? Well, there's at least two. If our opponent has one, they have another one. Thanks to Sanctum. All right, Foundry Inspector. Three cards in hand. Key to the city. Two cards in hand. Metalwork Colossus for free. Sax. Gets another Colossus, I assume? They can't cast Elder Deep Fiend. They do get the Elder Deep Fiend. Oh, they can off Cultivator's Caravan. All right. Well, let's see what our opponent does here. They would have to sack their Colossus. All right, there's a Colossus. So two Colossi and Elder Deep Fiend in hand. The bigger problem is... Okay, if they tap to give one haste, then we can kill one. 
All right, they go to give Metalwork Colossus haste. And discard Elder Deep Fiend to make it unblockable? Well, let's just anguish on making. So, one Colossus down for good. That does cost us a bit of life, so we're not too close to the Vindicate kill. Opponent passes. We are out of cards. Uh, never mind. We are back in... <laughs> We are back in business. Marionette Master. That was probably the best draw in our deck. So let's make some more servos. And pass the turn. I mean, if we untap, we're pretty likely to win here. Each artifact that dies drains for two. Other creatures drain for one. I'm assuming our opponent has to draw off key of this, uh, from the city of the city. Yep, they draw. But I don't think they can kill us. They can make Colossus unblockable. And I don't even know if we need to deal combat damage to win. Well, I guess if they can kill Syndicate Trafficker and Eile or Marionette Master, we could be in trouble. All right, discards our last card. Ooh, Panharmonicon. All right, to make Colossus unblockable, gets in with Colossus. I think we win when we untap, though. So we drop to 10. So we just sack everything. Uh, sack a servo. Uh, target our opponent. Might as well auto-yield to these triggers. Put our opponent down to 7. Sack a servo. Drain our opponent down to 5. Is this going to be Exaxes? Sack a Servo. And our opponent scoops it up. Ooh, Black White Fabricate. Uh, so against this deck, we probably want Quarantine Field. We probably want Angelic Purge. We definitely want Fragmentize. Lost Legacy, unfortunately, does not hit Artifacts or it would be good. Eliminate the Competition is sort of funny. I don't know if it's good enough. We haven't brought it in, like, any games. Uh, what is probably good enough is Pick the Brain... Man, we have a lot of cards we want to bring in. Go down... Anguish on Making. Go down a Thraben Inspector. Go down a Bygone Bishop. I think we're going to go down our Grasp of Darknesses, since they don't kill a lot of the stuff we want to kill. They hit the cost reduction stuff in Glint Nest, but that's not all that exciting. And we got to make two more cuts. Two more. Um... Hmm... I mean, the good news is we got a lot of sideboard stuff. The bad news is I don't know what to cut. Maybe we just go down uh, down to one three-bin inspector. Try it like that. This hand is overloaded with action but lacking in land, so I think we got a mulligan. Uh, this is actually pretty fine. Our opponent's also mulliganing. So you get to... Oh, jeez. Our opponent's going to mulligan right out of this game. Mulligan to three. We'll keep another cutthroat. Oh, this isn't the way we were hoping to win. Mull to three, keep a... Well, they have Inventor's Fair. Forsaken Sanctuary, go. Island for our opponent. And... Passes. Well, Swamp, go. We're just going to play our bishops first. Prophetic Prism for our opponent. I guess it's not impossible that they win, but... It seems very unlikely on a mold of three. I, I don't know what the odds are, but they have to be incredibly low. So let's bygone bishop. Pass the turn. So we can bygone bishop again next turn, and then most of our hand comes with two clues, which is pretty good. Foundry inspector. Our opponent is still playing magic, which is pretty impressive considering the mulligans. Let's get in with bygone bishop. And then just play another bygone bishop, get a clue, pass the turn. Opponent has land number four. Oh my god, that is Sky Sovereign. Uh, okay. I don't know if we can be Sky Sovereign. <laughs> oh my lord, we're gonna lose. Angel of Invention. Uh, well, let's transgress the mind. Oh my god. Well, I guess we should have just transgress the mind. <laughs> I seriously don't know if we can beat Sky Sovereign. I mean, we can draw a removal spell. Oh my god. Oh, and I just attacked into Sky Sovereign. Oh! <laughs> well, 
I mean, I guess the good news is it was going to die anyway when our opponent attacked. So we didn't really lose much by that attack. It still looks bad, though. Because our opponent's just going to attack with Sky Sovereign and, and shoot down our creature anyway. There's, I mean, so we didn't lose anything there. Still, I guess we shouldn't have attacked. I don't even know. Maybe that wasn't even a punt, all things considered, since it was dead. Uh, we draw land, so let's play Azula Port Cutthroat, play a land, play Azula Port Cutthroat, pass the turn. Still, we're just going to die to that Sky Sovereign in the air, and our opponent's even gaining life now. Oh, we're seriously... There's a Glint Nest. Oh, my God. Oh, this is unreal. Scrappy Scrounger for our opponent. Play Scrounger. So now they get to attack with Foundry Inspector as well? This is absurd. The odds of winning on a Molda 3 are... I don't even know. Someone asked me to look at the odds on a Molda 4 the other day, and it was about 15%. I'm assuming Molda 3 has to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 0%. But it is going to happen this time. Oh, down to 7. Oh my god, okay. Quarantine field. So we're back to sort of having a slight chance. We got a chump with our cutthroat. Hope our opponent whiffs on removal. Chump with the cutthroat. Hope that we draw an untap land and can angel. Hedron Archive. Okay. We're not dead. Opponent goes to combat. Tags with everything. We chump. I mean, angel or bust, we're down to four. There's an untap land. Angel of Invention. Oh, I mean... We're... <laughs> Our opponent mauled the three, and we are just barely hanging on for dear life. I mean, our opponent can just draw an Elder Deep Fiend, and we're dead. And I'm sure there's other things that have a similar effect. Key to the City does not just make us dead. It puts us to one. Opponent goes to combat. And just passes. Well. Angel of Invention. Um... Let's put the counters on it this time. Get in with Angel of Invention. Go back up to seven. Oh, man. There was a window there when we were very dead. We are still dead to Elder Deep Fiend right here. Well, no. One, two, three. We're not quite. Cultivator's Caravan. We're close to being dead to Elder Deep Fiend. If our opponent can't do something good here, though, Hedron Archive. So they could play a Colossus if they have one. And Panharmonicon, well, even though it looks like we might survive, uh, it's pretty amazing that our opponent got that close on a Molda 3. Well, Angel of Invention, number 3. They do stack pretty well. Let's make servos. Let's attack with everything. Wow, that was so close. Oh my goodness, and we got there. Well, oh man. Uh, it's sort of embarrassing that it was that close on a Mola 3. So big, I mean, congratulations to our opponent. We were, we had to essentially get lucky to not be dead by drawing a removal spell. And not incredibly lucky, we brought in a bunch of, removal but still the odds of us drawing a removal spell in that turn were not good and then we still needed to draw land or we would have been dead so uh, we had to go runner runner to win a mold of three which is pretty absurd oh but we did it